Hello everybody, my name is Tubasplat and welcome back to WWE 2K19. I don't know why I was going to say Injustice or Injustice 2, but to WWE 2K19 My Career Let's Play. And uh, this is substantially shorter episode. I didn't realize it until <laughs> now, really. Um, let's see... That's right, we're already the United States champion. And we have to basically just fight off Kevin and Sammy. But we're in a rematch here with Bobby Roode. And something I realized um, is that there was like the whole thing with, um, I think it was Shane. Yeah, then there's another whole little mini unofficial cutscene that's like story related. I don't know if I necessarily cut it. I don't know if I cut the, yeah, if I cut something out similar to that in earlier episodes. I feel like I did. So if there was like some story jumps that didn't make sense, I apologize. That's just I me being ignorant. <laughs> um and not paying attention, so but yeah, uh this is about to wrap up and I will See you guys in a bit. My time as United States Champion hasn't quite gone as I planned, to say the least. I wanted to defend the title and give you hard-fought, competitive, and fair matches every week, but that's been impossible lately, thanks to Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Bobby Roode. That's why I'm out here to say... I'm tired of the constant interference and everyone thinking they deserve a U.S. title shot. So I'm proposing that Kevin Owens and Bobby Roode settle it in the ring to see who the real number one contender is. Oh, and one more thing. I'll be at ringside to make sure Sami Zayn doesn't affect the outcome of this match in any way, shape, or form. Thank you for saying what needed to be said. In recent weeks, through no fault of your own, the United States title has been dragged through the mud by your opponents. So I'm backing your decision and making it official. I know you're still relatively new to WWE, Buzz, so let me fill you in on something. You may have gotten lucky by winning the US title, but that doesn't mean you get to call the shots around here. I call the shots. Um, Hunter, can we talk about that for a second? Because last time I checked, your brother-in-law Shane and I are in charge of SmackDown. Not you. So actually, we call the shots. Ooh, this is getting good. Shut up. 
and listen to what I'm about to say because it is a lesson that you and everyone else needs to learn. I have influence far greater than anything you could imagine. Whatever I say goes. No questions asked. I say build it and it's how fast do you need it. I say make the match and the only questions are when and where. I say fire someone and WWE wishes them luck in their future endeavors. All anyone else has is the illusion of power. You call the shots because I let you call the shots. Now, if you have a problem with any of that, I can make one call and you'll be struggling to put food on your family's table. You need us. We don't need you. Are we clear? Yeah, we're clear. Good. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, the US title picture. I have a better idea for how to settle all of this. At Money in the Bank, you won't even need to be pinned to lose your US title. Because it's gonna be a fatal four-way match of you versus Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Bobby Roode. I told you, I'd never forget what you did. So this match was a thing that happened. Um, I've had to redo this match about four times, I think. The first time, Bob, uh, Kevin won. Second time, Bobby won. Third time, Kevin won again. And I think I won. Yeah, well, I obviously I retained it. So finally. Um, that's funny because the first two times Sammy got pinned and I'm thinking oh he's gonna be the weak link in this match so I can just um, pin him and try and win the match and I think I tried that several times and then Bobby and Kevin just kept getting back up to stop me <laughs> so yeah this was a thing that happened and I was not I was easily getting very frustrated <laughs> with this whole thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> Not sure what else to come up with. This is about the second time I've had to do post commentary on this clip because the first time I did not trim it and I thought I did. So <laughs> I'm just trying to remember what I thought I was going to say that I said before and I can't so yeah <laughs> may just may just go at it for a little bit all three Canadians I'm the only one that's not <laughs> but yeah I couldn't believe that like it was so difficult to get it done the match it was unbelievable Also, I just kind of... Or no, I didn't. No. I was going to say, I feel like I just dated my prior commentary in the first match. But I didn't say a specific time frame. I just said it's substantially shorter. But not even shorter. Because when I did the first commentary, it said... It was like 18 minutes, but not 16 minutes. So, bam. Alright, this match... Is about to finish up, and then I will catch you guys in... The next matchup.
Hey, that money in the bank ladder match was awesome. Congrats on walking out with the briefcase. Thanks. To be honest, it's gonna be kind of annoying carrying this around with me. And seeing as you're the rookie, how about you carry it around for me? <laughs> no thanks. I already got my hands full. Huh. I'll remember that. I was talking to Kevin Owens and Sammy. I said they're both going to get a shot at your U.S. title in a two-on-one handicap match. If you thought the odds were against you in a fatal four-way, just wait until tonight. to the handicap match. I'm not sure what else to say here. The only, the only thing was I thought was a little annoying is that Kevin basically tagged himself out but the goal was to get him at red damage. But then I ended up, and you'll see it later, like here he tags himself in. Uh, what I ended up doing later was uh, throwing Sammy in the corner and forcing Kevin more or less to make the tag. Um, I'm tr like when I was doing this match, I for some reason was thinking that that wasn't a thing in 2K20. I think it's a hit or miss thing that like you throw your opponent in the turnbuck uh, in their corner and then sometimes they'll make a tag. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's a hit or miss thing. I don't know why, but I just, that's what I think. Otherwise, yeah, this, uh, this chapter is a lot, is majorly, is substantially shorter than the first one. <laughs> yeah, see, I had to force Kevin to make the tag there. Just knock out Sammy for the added bonus. <laughs> Let's see, the date I'm doing this is September, nope, September, wow, how about February, February 1st, <laughs> this was uh, September, whoa, where'd the year go, <laughs> um, yeah, and hopefully this goes live, because Injustice 2 ends in mid-March, this might be going up in April, I want to say, if I'm wrong about that, I'm sorry, <laughs> Um, again, forcing Kevin to make the tag. But yeah, January was, uh, January was a thing. Between, uh, the Australian wildfires, the coronavirus, and Kobe Bryant. January was a thing. Um, I remember seeing on Facebook, like, it was just listing off, like, those three things. And I think there was a fourth, but I can't remember what it was. And, like, the, the caption was just, and it's only January. It's like, yeah, we're going to be in a rough year. Uh, if this is how the year kicks off, it's going to be, uh, 2020 is going to be a weird year. Unless there's, like, a major turnaround in something internationally uh, that happens, but. Otherwise, that's going to wrap it up for me. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like on it. And if you want to stay in tune with the rest of this Let's Play, make sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification button. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.